All right, guys, so my journey with the BMW i5 continues, and right now, instead of focusing on the driving dynamics, which you've already seen, I am back into an i5 M60, and the purpose of this exercise is really to test some of the latest Level 2 Plus features, and to learn more about that, because there are quite a few of them. I have here with me Peter. He's in charge of Level 2, Level 3, and the driving assistant features of BMW. So, Peter, thanks for having me. Uh, how about we just dive right in? Tell me first some of the level two functions available in the i5, and then as we get closer to the highway, then maybe we can talk about some of the new features. Okay, now when we talk about the uh, level two function, we are driving now um, on a country road, and it's very boring, so you see only this go straight, and this is exactly the case where you can be ex um, assisted. So you activate the system by pressing IO, perfect, yeah, and then you see um, the um, green steering, that means um, now the car helps you to hold the middle of the lane. And the philosophy of BMW when you're driving in the level 2 function is really to assist you and don't to stress you. And we want, don't want to um, or fight with you, we want to drive with you. That means, for example, if you try to go out of the lanes, test it for a simple movement, yeah. So we don't turn the system off because if there's for something lying something on, on the road, you can very easy do a movement on the left side and and yeah the car follow that and then after that it goes back in the middle of the lane so this is one thing the other thing is if you keep your hands off for example you see that's not allowed probably because you're in, in a country road and then you get the yellow flashing LEDs that means you have to keep your hands back on the steering so now if you are driving with our O2 function and you keep your hands off Keep your hands off, yeah. Um, then you get the information to keep them back. And one really very interesting thing in the BMW is that you don't have to steer or to talk something because we spend a special sense on the steering. A capacity sensor, he will detect if you got your hands on the steering. So three fingers normally are enough. You put it very easy on the steering and the car detects your hands on. This is a very, very interesting feature because we build our cars for our customers to get the best experience, for example, for long-term trips. And if you go, by, for example, from LA to San Francisco on Interstate number no. 5 and you have to uh, do something on the steering every um, 30 seconds, that's not really comfortable. This is why we spent that special sensor. So easily touch it and then you can um, give the cars a sign that you're really in the loop. So now when we um, talk about the level 2 system, I think in the i5 it's exactly the same functionality that we know from the 7 series, but now we are on the um, highway and now you can really um, see that we get the next step. What does it mean with the Level 2 Plus function? That means you don't have to put your hands every five seconds back on the steering because now um, with a special um, new technology depending on the driver model, you look uh, see the camera in front of the display, which is looking in your eyes and also the um, high performance digital maps uh, and a special surrounding camera uh, system which looks um, as a retina system of here on the road allows you to keep your hands for a long time of steering when you look on the road. So that's the deal. And yeah, so it's, it's very easy. You go in, activate the system, and then you get the offer for the driving system plus feature. And the only thing you have to do is keep your hands off the steering and relax. Okay. So this is the BMW philosophy. Take the long trip, keep your hands off, look outside, and enjoy. So the highway assist um, will overtake the speed limit automatically. And the maximum speed of the highway assist in the hands-free mode is 85 miles or 135 kph. So a standard in Germany is 130, but you can make a, um, an offset of 5 kph in Germany, and you can also do the offset um, up to 10 miles per hour in US. All right, so that's very interesting, Peter. So basically, let me just recap. So you do an IO, you're getting the assist plus ready you know mark on the dashboard and once you do that then you can essentially just so right now it's ready i can take off my hands and it just does it for you the braking acceleration keeping lanes and all of that but of course there is a little bit more to the new i5 than what we've seen so far right so maybe 
We talk about some of the new tech, and I know you mentioned earlier a little bit about the eye tracking and all of that. So I guess that's brand new in the BMW i5, and maybe you want to explain it to us. You know, we have got a lot of traffic. Normally, the system is uh, built uh, for comfort reasons, so we don't want to uh, very go novice left and right side. And, yeah. and there's also another story because we, this functionality has got a, a quite other algorithm in Germany, like in US. So you know the storyline with the lane change, with the manual track lane change. Yeah. Um, so we start in the US with uh, 40 kph, and Germany is only allowed at 80. And uh, so the dynamic for the lane change in the US, because they are not that fast coming overtaker from behind. So um, we, we in Germany, we have to go very smooth on the left side in the US. Um, you have got that small gaps, but uh, not that uh, uh, fast traffic from behind. This is why we can go with much more dynamic into the gaps. And the same story with the function, because in Germany um, we have to go on the right side, so it's uh, driven by law, and in the US you can go on, on the left lane. But on the left lane, a very interesting thing um, is not in that case that uh, uh, the Americans want to change on the right side, but they want to change if there is another car pushing from behind. Then they go on the right side, so they want to stay there. This is why we give a new algorithm to look if there is a car behind, and then we do the lane change. Right? Look on the right side. Yeah. So you see we've got another feature in it. So with the eye tracking uh, technique, it's possible to give you, in the highway assistance, an offer to do a lane change. And the system asks you, do you want to lane change? You've got room for that. And then the only thing you have to do is, like this one, look in the mirror, look if there's a traffic, and then, uh, per magic, the car will do the lane change. The only thing you have to do is look in the mirror. And I think this shows very good what is the philosophy of BMW. We want to drive in an assistance system with the driver in one. So the driver is one part of the car. The car makes you an offer. The only thing you have to do, you have to look in the mirror. Or, um, yeah, when you look on the road, you can keep your hands off for more comfort. That is the future. And I think this system is unique. It's uh, one of the best system, the best system in the market for long-term trips. And when you talk about the technique, so you know we got offered the highway assist in the US and we offered it in, in Germany. And if you look on the markets, it's very interesting aspects because the markets are quite different. For example, if you talk about the lane change, you know, in Germany, there come um, very fast overtaker. This is why we really be sure when you do the lane change on the left side that we do that very smooth and we only uh, go in big gaps. In the US, for example, you don't have the fast overtaker, but Everyone drives with a very short distance to the car in front, so this is why we have to go um, um, uh, really harder into the gaps. And it's the same story with the automatic lane change. So in Germany, you have to go on the right side. So this means in Germany, the car has to change if it's uh, free on the right side to the right lane. But in the US, uh, that's not the point, because in the US, the old, uh, uh, driver there drives in their lane. But on the other side, if you drive on the left lane and sometimes there come another who wants to go faster, then also the American guys go on the right side. That means we adapt the algorithm, for example, if there's a car behind us in the US, then we do the lane change also on the right side. And in Germany, for example, we always have to do that. And also the dynamic of the change. In Germany, we've got much more dynamic in the change because we go right, left, right, left. In the US, we really do um, quite less lane changes because you want to do more for the comfort issue. All right, thanks, Peter. So let me recap one more time. So basically, you use the I.O. button right here. You activate the Driver Assistant Plus, and then essentially you are getting this readiness checks so when there is a gap in between cars. The system is going to tell you that. It's going to give you the prompt, an audio prompt, and also a visual prompt. And then you can just really just go with the head to the right or to the left, depending on the situation. And the car will automatically um, change the lane for you. You don't have to use the signal. But of course, my understanding is that you, if you still want to use the signal, you can do that. So nothing changes. It's just an additional option. OK, so very, very cool. Now, let's talk also about the highway assistant or assist. I know that I tried this in the new BMW i7, but I'm wondering how it's working in the new i5 and if there are any differences there. Maybe we can show that as well as we approach an exit. So do you, you mind telling me a little bit more about that? So when you talk about the active lane guide, guiding, so if the navigation system is activated and the car knows that there's an exit, the cars guide you into the exit. For US means, 
for example, if you get nine lanes um, uh, on a very big interstate, uh, the system will start, for example, three miles ago and guide you uh, with nine automatic lane changes up to the um, exit. Now, um, we've got only two lanes, but um, the system also for the next um, exit um, looking on the digital maps and see hey we want to go out and you will see soon to get an offer and it's for you as a customer the same story like the automatic lane change because the car makes you an offer and you can say yes please change when you look in the mirror or use the indicator and the difference is um, for the comfort lane change we are um, don't make a lot of pressure we want to do um, less changes as possible but when you talk about the exit you know you don't want to drive uh, uh, away uh, from that exit this is why we do a lot of more pressure in the lane change and you will see um, now when you go to the come closer to the exit the car will give you an offer and if you say no I don't want to get that then you reduce speed and he makes more pressure and more pressure till you come um, over to the um, other side and if you are on the right lane then the car is so intelligent that he knows, okay, now we go back to the classic level two mode, and this is why you will get an information to keep your hands back 200 meters before you leave the interstate. All right, so we can test this right now. So basically the system is showing you a gap right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then you look to the right, and it's gonna change the lane for you. And then you mentioned that as soon as you get close to the exit, about 600 meters right now, it will prompt me to grab the steering wheel to go back to level two system. So let's see how it works. So the car is braking by itself. Now I'm getting the master. I need to put my hands on the steering and I'm taking over the steering wheel and now we're on level two once again. So that was the feature. It is available in which markets, Peter? So uh, the story with the highway assistant started with the new seven series, with the new i7 in US. So, um, we bring that um, update into the i5 and also in US market with, uh, in parallel with the i7 and later on with the X models. And very, very uh, special uh, thing is also that we uh, bring the highway system in, in Germany, especially the hands-free driving. So we have got a, a permission from um, the German uh, Minister of Traffic to do that uh, 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 exclusive for BMW on German highways. So um, in Germany we start this uh, because of this first only with the 5 Series or with the i5 and then later on we will also do the rollout to the other cars from the i7, 7 Series and the X model also in Germany. All right, well, thank you, Peter. This was an interesting experience. Of course, I'll try this a lot more in the future when we go for the actual uh, uh, 5 Series and i5 launch. But once again, guys, this is a brand new feature in the BMW 5 Series, not just the i5. And eventually, it will be rolled out to some other products. And of course, for the German market, you know, we're so used to this one in the US. We've used it in the uh, 7 Series, but it's coming to the German market. And that's the first, not just for BMW, but also for all the OEMs. So uh, from what I understand, you know, they're quite proud of that because it's, it's, it's good that they managed to overcome the regulations and the challenges and all of that and introduce that to German customers. Uh, they seem to be a little bit more relaxed, the regulations in the US, so we're always spoiled to have that. So with that being said, this was the um, driver assistance features level two, level two plus in the new BMW uh, i5. BMW is working on level three in the future, so we might hear about that you know, towards the end of this year and we can experience that hopefully behind the wheel of this car or some other cars and see what it can do because my understanding is that both the 7 Series and the 5 Series, they're hardware capable of supporting level 3. So we'll see what that means in actual real driving scenarios and what new features BMW has in store for us. They wouldn't tell me that today, but we will find out in the future. That was our experience with the new BMW i5, so stay tuned.